Right. Um, ex-wife wants me to adopt ex's son. Hey there, Bill Burlington Cunt Factory. I usually laugh at some of the poor schmucks who write into, your, into you asking the advice. Today, I'm that schmuck. I won't go into every little detail about this in hopes you can give me some advice. A few years ago, I married my soon-to-be ex-wife. Dude, I was so fucking thinking about that woman ruining your apartment and how they can just get away with that. Let me, let me, I wasn't even paying attention. Let me read this again. Today, I'm the smuck. Okay, I, I won't go into every detail. All right. A few years ago, I married my soon-to-be ex-wife. Along with the marriage came her two-year-old son. His biological father is a deadbeat who didn't hold down a job and avoids child support. He has never had any contact with the son. Wow. All right. So I did the most manly thing that one can do besides going to community college. I put on my big boy pants and I took her son in as my own. He calls me dad and whatnot. We bonded. I really care for the kid. The first few years of marriage of my wife were great, which ended up leading us to having our very own daughter. And then my wife turned into a whore. Oh, God, what happened? Oh, uh, so we're going through the divorce, and I still pick both kids up, even though I'm legally responsible for one. I carry her and her son on my insurance to this day, maybe against my better judgment. But I'd like to give her some time to get her shit together until I drop her off. Drop her off of it? Complete? Drop her out of it, I think you meant to say. Completely. Well, the finalization of the divorce papers is in August. The soon-to-be ex-mother-in-law keeps insisting that I legally adopt her grandson. No, don't do that. Now, here's the thing. I send a very gracious amount in support payments biweekly. Um, we choose to not go through the court system because my ex sees that I'm a good father and still take responsibility of her son. Keep it like that. I flat out said, no, I'm not legally adopting him. Yeah, your fucking mother-in-law does not want you to legally adopt him because she thinks you're a good father. Okay, she's looking at you like an ATM machine, like a lot of women do with men, which, once again, you can't fucking say that, despite the 10 million fucking examples of it, it's considered sexist. All right, one wrong move, and now the court system has me by the balls for support for two legal uh, children. What? What happened? Yeah, yes, yeah, said flat out. Yeah, he said flat out no because one wrong move and now the court system has me legally by the balls for the sport of two children. Yeah, there's no fucking reason for you to do that. They don't hold anything over you. They have no negotiating, nothing. Uh, the mother-in-law is insisting, unless they try to keep your daughter from you. The mother-in-law is insisting that if I don't legally adopt him, I'm a scumbag who doesn't deserve to see him. And Eve has gone so far in so many words to say I won't be seeing him. She's even getting my ex on board with this. Like I said, I really care for the kid. He's a good kid who never had a father figure until I came into his life six years ago. What's my play here? Thanks and go fuck yourself. Uh, what you're seeing with these two fucking lunatics, um, generation fucking psychos here, uh, is the tip of the fucking iceberg with these people. Okay? They don't give a shit about you. They're looking at you like an ATM machine, and they're already fucking with you. They don't, they don't have that kid's best interest in mind they think they do they don't they're using him as a fucking negotiating tool all right i'm surprised they haven't said well we'll fucking go for full custody with your daughter and try to fuck with that that'll probably be their next fucking move and here's the thing with them okay with them it's the more you're in their lives the worse it's gonna get do not legally bind yourself to them whatsoever. And this is what I would do. Do not get emotional at all. Do not get into a fuck you, fuck you fight with the mother-in-law. Do not get into a fuck you, fuck you fight with um, your soon-to-be ex-wife. You have leverage in that your ex-wife, as much as she's you know, going to divorce you here, still cares about you. You guys still had a, a child together. And... You just have to just talk to her logically and just say, I'm not comfortable doing that, um, but I'm going to continue to make payments and support and all that and help you out with your son and obviously our daughter. All right. Um, and this pressure that your, your mother-in-law is putting on this is only going to make both of our lives miserable. So what you do is you, you, you divide and conquer there. 
just say, I have no problem with you. And the way that we get along, I don't think your mother-in-law understands. And that's why she's applying this pressure. But that pressure is it's going to be bad for us and it's going to be bad for our kids. Let's just continue going on like this. I love your son and, you know, I'm going to continue to support him. That's as far as it goes. All right. And I'm totally comfortable with supporting him. I'm giving you my word, but I'm not, you know, I'm not doing the legal thing. I'm not doing it. And you just, that's it. That's it. And if they want to keep coming at you, I'm telling you right now, if you, do you think that if, when you legally adopt that kid, do you honestly fucking think that that's going to be the end of the demands? What the fuck is the mother-in-law involved in this shit for anyways? Right there, that's a nightmare. That's a fucking nightmare situation. And so many married women have that fucking, that ridiculously close relationship with their mom. You know what I mean? And it, it, to the point that it hurts the fucking relationship. And God forbid, is it, it, as of a guy, you keep bringing your mom into the fucking relationship with your wife? That's, that's, that's a fucking rap. It's a fucking rap. But once again, guys put up with that shit. We put up with that shit. We put up with them coming in, busting up our shit. Dude, you hold all of the fucking cards here. That's it. They don't have, they don't have, they don't have a dime. They, they're not even in the fucking game. You hold all the fucking cards. Do not do this. You don't have to do this. Just stay calm and keep reassuring your, your soon to be ex-wife that, you know, you're doing what's best for the kids and what's best for you and what's best for both of you guys. And just keep saying, uh, this pressure that your mother-in-law is putting on us is unnecessarily unnecessary. It's, it's, it's just we're good. Okay. I'm still like, if I was going to be vindictive, it would have happened by now. I'm still picking both of them up. All right. There's no way I'm going to let anything happen to your son. And there's no way I'm letting anything happen to our daughter. That's it. That's it. So tell your fucking mother to shut the fuck up. I can't do that part. Don't do that part. All right.